Today, Microsoft is launching Windows Insider Preview Build 22.563 to the developer channel. Especially, this build is available for ARM64 PCs. This build includes few new features for insiders to try out, primarily geared towards tablet-optimized taskbar experience, some improvements in the content, in widgets, and many more. So without further ado, let's take a look at it. Well, the build 22563 introduces a tablet-optimized taskbar. This taskbar is specifically designed to make you feel more confident and comfortable using your device as a tablet. While holding your tablet, chances are the taskbar may get accidental touches. So with this update, they are eliminating that. Now there are two states of this taskbar. One is collapsed and other one is expanded. In the collapse state, the taskbar gets out of your way and gives more screen space to use it and prevents you from accidentally touching the taskbar when you are holding your tablet. While the expanded state of the taskbar is optimized to use it easily with the touch and you can easily switch between the two states by swiping up and down on the bottom of your device. You can check out this feature, just navigate to settings, personalization and into the taskbar, there is a taskbar behavior options. Next change is about making widget content more dynamic. Here you can see the before and after. With some experimentation, Microsoft is bringing together the widgets and newsfeed experience as dynamically blended into the widgets. This should make it easier for you to discover and engage with new widgets through new news content on your feed. With a dynamic feed, there is a less burden of you to curate the canvas on your own, but still you will be able to pin your favorite widgets on the top if you want. This release focuses on making widgets more discoverable from the feed and over time Microsoft is planning to make the feed even more personalized. Next, there is a new group policy for managing the Windows update notifications. Now IT admins will finally able to turn off the Windows update notifications that might distract the students during the school day. Ultimately, IT admins will able to provide better experience while staying compliant as the notification will start to show again if the user action is needed and the device reaches the deadline. And hopefully most devices are able to automatically restart overnight when the student isn't there. You can access the new group policy from the group policy editor. Next change is related to the file explorer. The search from the quick access has been expanded to include the content from your OneDrive. Files in quick access are available without any local presence. Next one is related to windowing. They have made it easier to snap most of the relevant windows next to each other side by side by introducing edge tabs as suggested window in snap assist. When a window is snapped, you'll now able to see three of your most recent edge tabs. You can always control how many numbers of tabs to show when snapping by pressing ultra tab and via settings, going into system and into multitasking. Next one is related to new 37 emoji characters in the emoji picker. As a part of emoji 14.0, some of new emojis are included. Some of them including melting face, troll, coral, also beans and playground slide and mirror ball. Also skin tone variation for hand gesture and people bring the total of 112 emojis which include handshake. You can now choose the skin tones between two hands in the handshake emoji. Next, they updated the accessibility flyout on the login screen introduced in build 22557. It is now available to Windows Insider in the developer channel. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video a lot, so make sure to hit that like. This is Kedar from How to Guys signing out.